and when Dawn arrived in 2015, Sears became the first dwarf planet to receive a visit from a spacecraft. Called an asteroid for many years, Sears is so much bigger and so different from its rocky neighbors that scientists classified it as a dwarf planet in 2006. Even though Sears comprises 25% of the asteroid belt's total mass, tiny Pluto is still 14 times more massive. Sears is named for the Roman goddess of corn and harvests. The word cereal comes from the same name. With a radius of 296 miles, 476 kilometers, Sears is one thirteenth the radius of Earth. If Earth were the size of a nickel, Sears would be about as big as a poppy seed. From an average distance of 257 million miles, 413 million kilometers, Sears is 2. 8 astronomical units away from the Sun. One astronomical unit, abbreviated as AU, is the distance from the Sun to Earth. Sears takes takes 1,682 Earth days, or 4.6 Earth years, to make one trip around the Sun. As Sears orbits the Sun, it completes one rotation every nine hours, making its day length one of the shortest in the solar system. Sears' axis of rotation is tilted just 4 degrees with respect to the plane of its orbit around the Sun. That means it spins nearly perfectly upright and doesn't experience seasons like other more tilted planets do. Sears formed along with the rest of the solar system about 4.5 billion years ago, when gravity pulled swirling gas and dust in to become a small dwarf planet. Scientists describe Sears as an embryonic planet, which means it started to form but didn't quite finish. Nearby Jupiter's strong gravity prevented it from becoming a fully formed planet. About 4 billion years ago, Sears settled into its current location among the leftover pieces of planetary formation in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Sears is more similar to the terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, than its asteroid neighbors, but it is much less dense. One of the similarities is a layered interior, but Sears' layers aren't as clearly defined. Sears probably has a solid core and a mantle made of water ice. In fact, Sears could be composed of as much as 25% water. If that is correct, Sears has more water than Earth does. Sears' crust is rocky and dusty with large salt deposits. The salts on Sears aren't like table salt, sodium chloride, but instead are made of different minerals like magnesium sulfate. Sears is covered in countless small, young craters, but none are larger than 175 miles, 280 kilometers, in diameter.
This is surprising, given that the dwarf planet must have been hit by numerous large asteroids during its four. Five billion year lifetime. The lack of craters might be due to layers of ice just below the surface. The surface features could smooth out over time if ice or another lower density material, such as salt, is just below the surface. It's also possible that past hydrothermal activity, such as ice volcanoes, erased some large craters. Within some of Sears craters, there are regions that are always in shadow. It's possible that without direct sunlight, these cold traps could have water ice in them for long periods of time. Sears has a very thin atmosphere, and there is evidence it contains water vapor. The vapor may be produced by ice volcanoes or by ice near the surface sublimating, transforming from solid to gas. Sears is one of the few places in our solar system where scientists would like to search for possible signs of life. Sears has something a lot of other planets don't, water. Here on Earth, water is essential for life, so it's possible that with this ingredient and a few other conditions met, life could maybe exist there. Living things on Sears, if they are there at all, would likely be very small microbes similar to bacteria. And while Sears might not have living things today, there could be signs it harbored life in the past. Sears is a good example of how challenging it can be to categorize bodies in our solar system. When Giuseppe Piazzi first spotted it in 1801, he assumed Sears was the missing planet between Mars and Jupiter. Within a few years, Pallas, Juno, and Vesta were also discovered in the region, and they too were called planets. Starting in the 1840s, astronomers discussed reclassifying the increasing number of bodies in this area since they didn't quite fit the definition of a planet. By 1860 a total of 62 bodies had been discovered in the space between Mars and Jupiter. And by 1863 astronomers accepted the classification of these objects as asteroids and called the area the asteroid belt. That's the way it stayed for over 140 years. Then in 2006, astronomers designated Sears a dwarf planet since it matched the criteria used to classify Pluto and similar sized objects in the outer solar system. Sears holds the honor of being the first dwarf planet to be orbited by a spacecraft. Dawn reached it in 2015 to study its surface, composition, and history. Thanks for your watching again. Please like, subscribe to watch more videos, and let your feedback at comment below. Thanks.